Hey everybody. Um, Topaz is a company that makes uh, image processing software, uh, artistic utilities for uh, converting digital photos and digital images into uh, various forms of art, uh, enhancing colors and such. Uh, one of their products is called Impression, and it's uh, one of my uh, favorite kind of uh, art tools to uh, use. Uh, what it does is it converts an image into an impressionist style image, like an impressionist painting, like Monet or something like that. Um, and uh, yesterday, Topaz came out with Topaz Impression 2, and I immediately downloaded it and started to check it out. Uh, mostly it's the same as the original Topaz Impression, or Topaz Impression 1, and if you want, you can check out the, in the, uh, the notes below this video for a link to my review of that that I did uh, some time ago. However, one of the new features they have in it is this masking feature, and um, I found a pretty uh, pretty nice trick that I uh, I found it pretty useful for this kind of nice trick for making sort of a various levels of detail in images. And I'm going to show you how I did that today. Um, shouldn't take too long. Should be pretty quick, and should be a bit of fun. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so here we are in Topaz Impression uh, V 2.00. And I've loaded up an image. Um, if you want to see the original here, this is a render I did of a fox a few years ago. I never published it because I never really liked it that much. So um, I, it's one of the ones I keep in a, a, a whole bunch of unpublished uh, images for just this kind of occasion where I might want to try them in some different utility. So I'm trying uh, the, this fox out here in uh, Topaz Impression 2. Um, I'll go back, turn off the original there. And I've already loaded one of the pre-selected filters from over here. Um, I can't remember exactly which one it was. I think it was um, oil painting 2 or something like that. Anyway, um, it did a pretty good job here on the fox, and I got a little bit of a goof here on the eyes that we might need to fix. And um, But you can see the individual fur here. And what I want to do, though, is I don't want this outside to be quite so detailed. I want it to be much more impressionistic so that the eye focuses on the fox, which is going to have a much more detailed look to it. So what I'm going to do is uh, go over to the edit screen over here, and I'm going to go down to masking. And the first thing I'm going to do is fix those eyes. So um, under the masking menu, you have this sort of brush tab, and here I can actually manually create a mask. So let's zoom back in on the fox here, on those eyes. Remember, I didn't like those eyes so much, so I can just um, mask those out down to my original. And now I get those sort of in-focus eyes right there. And um, that is pretty much all I want to do at the moment. Let me zoom back out here. I want to make this rougher out here. And I could do I could do that by, let's say, increasing the brush size. But the problem I'm going to have with that, and it's going to take a few minutes to actually do that painting, is it's going to destroy the fox. So now I've got this uh, much more impressionistic look here that I want in the grass around him. But the fox has got really blurry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that brush size change I made. And then I'm going to actually just save this image. So I uh, will save as, and uh, we'll just call it my fox. And save it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to change anything here. We'll zoom back out all the way here for a minute. You know, we can see our super detailed grass I want to get rid of. I'm going to actually open that new image that I just saved. Uh, see, my fox, that's what we called it. All right, so now it looks pretty raggedy here. Um, but what I'm going to do, let's fix the brush size a bit until we get something we like for the grass. There we go. So now we got that really impressionistic look all over. Now we've messed our fox up again. But now I can go back down to the masking again. And since my uh, now underlying picture is my original or my first uh, pass with the fox, all I got to do is go to the, make sure I have a brush selected. Let's make it a bit bigger here. And now I can just pass over here and I get my uh, original or my uh, not my original fox, but the uh, the one that I worked on with, in, with much more detail. So now I've got this sort of impressionistic uh thing here. I got all these white spots. Let me fix that really quick. And that's also something you can do over here on the right under texture. 
we can fix the background. We can, instead of being white, you could pick another color, let's say black. And it's going to take a few minutes of repainting, and that gets rid of all those little white spots. So I really like how this turned out. I mean, you get the eyes going to focus on this fox here, which is kind of highly detailed, and sort of just be framed by this uh, much more impressionistic uh, landscape around him. So I like the way this really turned out. So if you check out the notes for this video, I'll leave a link to, uh, to, to the Topaz Impression 2. Um, they have a sale on it right now. I don't know if that's going to last by the time you see this video, but maybe if you see it early. And I guess generally they have sales now and again at Topaz. But anyway, there'll be a link in the show notes. Um, click through and uh, check it out. Thanks, everybody, and good night.